I am here at a local business in Sebastian, Florida, Ellen's Sweets and Treats with Miss Ellen herself. Thank Hi. you so much for having us here Thank today. You for and we just want to um, offer a little bit of information to all of the viewers out there who are looking at things to do and places to go and what's exciting in Sebastian, Florida. So I'm going to really let you hopefully do most of the talking. Okay. <laughs> and can you please tell us a little bit about your business? Like if I'm walking in off of the street, what do you want me to know as a new customer about your business? That the fudge is made here by me by hand. Um, most of the treats that you see are. I also do custom cakes. I do need advance notice for those. Make all the desserts for Vic's Pizza over there. Mm -hmm. um, so I can make those as well. And mainly the, I can try and keep everything as local as possible. I love uh, that. I really do love that. Um, okay, so fudge is all made by you. So mm -hmm. all of this behind me? Yep. Ah, and it's like, there's so much in the store. It really smells so good. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten lunch yet. Oh, no. so I'm like, <laughs> No, I can take care of that. It really, as soon as you walk in, you get smacked with like this delicious smell of like cookies and sweets and caramel almost and fudge. Oh, it's so good. Um, great. So making, you make the fudge in house, you do take orders for, let's say like catering. Like let's say if somebody wanted a bulk order of sweets or cakes. Yep. Yeah, and is there any particular area that you service? Like is Sebastian only? Do you go Sebastian Vero? How far out do you go for Sebastian, that? Sebastian, Vero, Fort Pierce, Melbourne. So, and I do pretty much any dessert you can think of. So I have a dessert table in a couple of weekends and that's gonna include Rice Krispie Treats, fudge, freeze-dried candy. So mm. we do all our own freeze-dried candies as well. Um, they're ordering some other candies as well as cookies and cupcakes too so just do all kinds of different things for corporate events weddings nice and how do i get an invitation to that party <laughs> i'm gonna come as my guest <laughs> Ah, oh, um, great. That sounds so great. And I can, like we were talking before, I was just saying like how cool it must be to have a sweet shop. Like how much fun that must be to do that for a living. It is, it is. I love to see the look on people's faces whenever they try something new. Um, at an event recently, I had a little couple that were debating um, a rum cake and treat a big one and a little one. Well, they bought the little one because they were, we're not sure how it's going to taste. They walked the corner and I turned around and they opened it up and the look on their face after they took that first bite. <laughs> You're like, I got them. Yeah. About two minutes later, they came back and they bought the big one. That so, speaks volumes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. I do yeah. love a rum cake myself. Again, I'm hungry and we're talking about food. So tell us a little bit more about this space. Uh, I've rented the space last April and uh, opened up in June. The address is 1124 US Highway 1. Okay. It's in the Washington Plaza where Vic's Italian Restaurant is. So it's just north of Riverview Park and just south of Main Street. We're here Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 5, unless I have an event. So if you go to my Facebook page or there'll always be a sign on the door for at a different event or something. Okay, I love it. So we can definitely find you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's like great, great place to like keep up to date with the latest happening. Yes, Perfect. I even put on there if I have to run to the post office to mail out a wholesale order, I'll I'm closing for 30 minutes. Okay, cool. <laughs> so. That's great. So that is a great reference point. We'll make sure that we include that Facebook link okay. down in the description below too. Terrific. If you want to hop on there and give her a follow. Well, I also have local vendors. So I have some artists that come in. Vicky, she does jewelry. Kazumi also does jewelry. And I have local beef jerky. I just brought this in last week. He was one of the vendors at Frog Frogwood Festival. Oh, the okay. beef is from Okeechobee. Yeah. Uncle Bubba's fish dip. I'm the only one in Indian River County that sells it. Okay. So, Uncle Bubba's fish dip. Uncle Bubba's fish dip. Fish dip. Yeah. I love fish dip. <laughs> I'll probably leave here with some fish dip. <laughs> So I like to bring in local artists, just keep everything nice and local as possible. That's beautiful. I really love that. So it's like, obviously you're supporting yourself and your craft, but also including other people yeah. who are kind of in the same space. I saw some of this jewelry over here. Um, it's like crocheted almost. Yes. Like it's really pretty, especially like the pendant style one. I like that. I noticed that as soon as I walked in the door, it was yeah. really nice. Ellen, can you tell me a little bit how you even got started? 
Oh goodness. Uh, 2009, my husband was retiring from the Marine Corps. Okay. And could find a cake that I wanted for him. It was a helicopter cake, so I made it. Oh, that's a big feat. Turned out I was good at it. Okay. You're so, like, this is surprisingly good. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a nice little helicopter, and it just started from there. Friends, family, just all started ordering and blossomed. Last year, I decided, okay, it's time to offer a little store and make more creations for more people. I love that. We moved back here in 2010 after being away for 20 years because he was in Marine Corps. And all the friends and locals that had seen my work on Facebook were great. You know, they started ordering right away. So nice. just grown. Nice, a lot of word of mouth, I assume too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and obviously Social you said media. on Facebook, pictures and sharing. I love that, that's so wonderful. Yeah, it's been great. So you have a, I would, Say a good following in the community and a good support system in the community. Yeah. So funny enough, we were just talking about this. Was I actually knew about your business? Seriously, I forget what event it was, but Andrew was like, "Reach out to my aunt. She does cakes." We ended up not doing any cake or anything like that, so I didn't end up reaching out to anybody at all. But it's so funny, it's such a small town. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so funny, we're only just a couple, two people removed right. this whole time. So that's really cool. I love that about small towns. Yes, but. it's great. <laughs> Something we don't find that much anymore, especially here in Florida, so. Yeah, it's true, and as, as you know, more people move into the area, it's not uncommon that you go out to eat and you look around and you don't see anybody that you know, yeah. you know, at any of the other tables. We were just talking about that with some friends the other night, but it, it is nice to still have the, like, you know, I know this person who knows this person because it feels like a community, you know, yeah. and I was saying it's like a family affair, yep. so yep. yeah, that's really That's nice. important for the new people too that are moving in. They start to make their little connections with just us locals. Yeah, so. I think they look for that too when they are coming to a place like Vero Beach versus somewhere else that they could go. Even down the road to Port St. Lucie or Melbourne, it's not quite the same feeling, you right. know, small town feeling and local to local kind of feeling. They look for that and that's why they, I, I think a lot of people ultimately choose this area, especially Sebastian. It's like so homey and so nice and it really feels like less of a city and more of a town. You right. Know? So you mentioned that you all came back to Sebastian after 20 years. Mm -hmm. What brought you back here? Was it family? Was it the area? Did you miss living family. here? Or? Yeah. Our family, all of our family is here and they're all getting older as we are. So we decided to come back and spend time with them. My husband was born and raised here and I grew up here from I think first grade. So okay. just you all met here yes. and then went and traveled and yeah. then said, okay. We met at the skating rink actually. No way! <laughs> okay. I love it! Yeah. I think it's one of the only skating rinks that's like still around in the area. So. There's not very many. But oh, that's really sweet. I love that. Can you tell us what's your favorite treat here? What do you love the most? Well, how about this? Two parts. What do you love to make the most? And what do you love to eat the most? I love to make cake. Okay. So I get very creative with those different shapes, different themes. Take the customer's vision and then make it my own. Um, my fun. favorite thing to eat would probably be the tiramisu fudge that's right there. <laughs> Ooh, let me grab it. Hold on, which one it's is right it? Right in the middle on the bottom. This yep. one? Mm -hmm. This beauty? Yes. <laughs> oh, that sounds really good. I love tiramisu. Do you make like an actual tiramisu? How do you make it? Do, well, can the fudge you tell or me the is it proprietary? The tiramisu fudge. The tiramisu fudge is made with a vanilla and cream, uh, cream cheese fudge, and stuffed with lady fingers, just like you would have in your normal tiramisu. Uh, it has a espresso based syrup in there as well that I make. And oh, that sounds so good. Very good. <laughs> okay. I'll I, take one of those too. <laughs> I do make an actual tiramisu as well. So okay. Make about 10 pans of those a week. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, I will keep that in mind as well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I am going to pick myself out a couple treats before I leave here today, <laughs> but I just appreciate you having us come into your business to feature it. This is really so wonderful. I can see too the creativity that you put into it. It's really yeah. awesome. I'm a creative person too. So I like I love what when people are able to make, you know, an outlet out of what they do and yeah. fuse those two together and give it out to the community. It's really a cool thing to see. So 
Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We will put the Facebook link down there so you can find her and stay updated on all of the latest things on Facebook since that sounds like that's your preferred mode of it is right keeping now. everybody updated. Okay. Take it's it away. 1124 US Highway 1 in Sebastian. The hours are to Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 5. And you can also reach me at area code 772-918-8265. All right, you know where to find her. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next week. <laughs>